it can be frustrating and challenging to find the work items in Jira that you are interested in. In the past, you've had to rely on things like JQL or filters to find them, but there's a feature called the list view that I think you'll find really interesting. The list view lets you define a list of work items to look at. This is different than a filter because the list view behaves more like a spreadsheet that you can control. You can, for example, add or remove columns. You might even apply conditional formatting to highlight specific rows you're curious about, or you might filter out work items that you just don't care about. Personally, I think that this is a good step forward for most folks. It makes it easier for them to go and find the work they want to go find and exclude everything else in Jira that will clutter up what they're looking at. So now that we know what the list view is, let's jump into Jira Cloud Free and I'll show you what it's all about. Here we are in a free instance of Jira. So this will be similar in any version of cloud. And all I've done is open up my project, Project Y, and look for the list view up in the menu. And here I can see a view of work items in this project. Now by default, there is no filtering. So these are all the work items. You will notice some things right away though. I can see the type, which is visually displayed. And some of them have nested child work items. So in this example, this epic has three work items under it that isn't displayed. They're rolled up under the epic. This makes it easier for me to see what's going on, but I do have to remember to go open it. I can also easily see columns as I go left to right, and these are the default columns. I'll show you how to change them in a moment though. Now this view can get pretty wide, so remember to scroll left and right so you don't miss anything. Even better though, you can just get rid of columns or add them if you need to. For example, if I don't care about the due date column, I might click on more actions and just hide it. This will remove it from my personal view. It doesn't impact other people and it helps clean up my space. I might do this for other things as well. Maybe I don't care about the updated column or created. Another thing I can do with my columns is sort by them. For example, I can click on this little arrow to sort in ascending order or descending order. I can also do that by clicking the three dots menu. I can clear it as well. This makes it very easy for me to see what's going on or to reset the ordering by say work item number if I need to. I have found this useful when I have a lot of reporters or a lot of assignees that I need to quickly view and just see who's in there, but also makes it easy to group by those things. For example, it forces all the server labels into the same spot. Now I can go in and add columns either by clicking this plus in the top right and then looking for the column I want to add and that adds it to the far right. I can also move between columns and click on the plus here to add the field between those columns. This makes it very easy for me to adjust and modify. And I can also click and drag and put them exactly where I want. This allows each individual on my team to customize their own view, which is very important because everyone has slightly different needs. Now I can also filter this list just by clicking up on filter and I'll see I have a lot of options. There are some default ones, things that just assigned to me or do this week, but I have a lot more options. I can filter by anyone in the project. I can filter by components if I have them, created dates, labels, parents, and almost any other field right from here. This for me is much more approachable and easier to use than the filters function because I can just see something and click on it. I don't have to worry about using JQL or getting flustered by additional work items that aren't in my project. Now there are some other ways I can adjust this view to meet my needs. Up in the top right, I can group by different things. For example, I want to see a group by story points. And this changes my view. You'll notice now the rows are condensed by story point. Here are all the one point items, all the three point, five point, etc. This makes it very easy for me to customize what I'm looking at, grouping it by priority or by assignee, for example. So just other ways to view these work items so I can work on them in the way that I need to. Additionally, I have some view settings. I can optionally hide completed items or I can expand or collapse them. I like to keep things collapsed just because in bigger projects this will get cluttered. But if you expand everything, you'll see all of those children items automatically open up. This can be very good if you're just opening up this project and want to see what's in them. Now I do have some options up under more actions, including the ability to view this as a chart. This lets me quickly see what's going on in my project visually, for example, in a bar chart or in a donut chart. This doesn't replace using some kind of analytical tool, but it does give me some very high level metrics, including the ability to share it that I can then share with my team to figure out what's happening. 
But the other option in here for me is even better. I can use conditional formatting on my rows to call things out. For example, I might have a rule that anytime the issue type is a story, I want that row to be purple. And here I can see visually it's changed. I can now instantly see which rows meet this criteria. And I have a wide range of things I can do. I might do this by story point or priority to draw more attention to those particular things. I can even just save the cell as that color so I don't clutter up the entire screen. This allows me to quickly take a look at this list of work items and see things that are of importance or are interesting. For example, maybe I want my highest priority to be a very, very red color so I can instantly see where those are. This gives me more options in controlling what I'm looking at and makes it easier for me to identify my work. And even better, this will be saved in the list so I don't have to do it every time I come in here. Now this list also allows me to create and edit work items directly from the list. I don't have to click create. And there's a few ways I can make them. I can just click on create, pick my work item type. In this case, I'll make it a story and I'll just give it some summary. And this instantly adds that new work item. Optionally, I can give it children by clicking on create child work item. It will automatically create subtask types for non-epics, and if I click on an epic, this will automatically create a task that will insert that work item under that epic. This allows me to quickly add new work in this same view. It helps my team stay focused on the job, and they don't have to worry about clicking on a create button or going somewhere else. Now I can also edit all the fields that you see. For example, I can update the summary just by selecting the text and changing it. I can change the status just by clicking in here and changing the status. So this is another great way to interact with these work items. It does not require me to open them up and look at a different screen. So as someone planning work, this is another great option in addition to something like a board that lets me represent my work in different ways. So that is the list view in JIRA. I have found it to be very useful to help me understand what's going on in a project, but also very useful in seeing what information I have about those work items. I'm not reliant or stuck on a particular screen, and it's right in the project. I can keep it handy and access it directly from the other spots that I'm working. It's also very useful for my team because they can go in and use that view to find their information more easily, and it keeps them in the tool. They don't have to worry about going somewhere else. They can stay in the project. I am curious, though, to hear what you think about it. Have you used the list view? And what have you discovered? How has it been useful? Or how else do you and your team manage your work and keep track of everything that's going on in JIRA? Because there can be a lot. Drop a comment down below with your questions or comments. I'd love to hear from you. If you found this useful, please hit that like button and subscribe, but also share this. You can help out your team by sharing what you know about it, so let them know about this feature or other ones so they can do better as well. Thank you so much for learning with me about this, and I'm really looking forward to seeing you here in one of these again soon. Me again? Thank you so much for watching that video. Check out more here and pop down into the description. I've got a blog with weekly content. I also have a lot of online learning on Atlassian stuff and project management. And if you need personalized training for you and your team, reach out and let me know. I'll be happy to get something set up for you. Thanks again for watching, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again soon.